So here we are week nine in the garden and Courtney told me as soon as I got here that you had hail, what, yesterday? We had hail just the day before yesterday. And if there's one thing you can count on with gardening is that it's unpredictable. So we did have a little bit of damage mm -hmm. from that hail. Um, you can see here with our tomatoes, we have lots of little, these are the yeah. little yellow pear tomatoes that fell off the vines. A couple of orange ones too that are pretty ripe. We could probably just pick those up and eat them. Yeah. Uh, but these, unfortunately, these little pear ones are not going to ripen. Um, even some big ones over on the other box. And then you said even some of the branches you lost too? A couple of the branches cracked off, so I came in and trimmed those up. And that, I think, would have happened anyway because they were getting pretty heavy. As you see, some of these larger branches have outgrown the cage and once I know, they start... I, I can see a whole lot over there and I've always been curious. Do you tie them to the cage or are you going to decide to stake them separately? It's, it's going to be branch by branch. Some of the larger ones are, not very rig are, are pretty rigid. They're not very flexible anymore. So I'm afraid if I try to bring them back to the cage to stake them, they might crack. So I'm going to stake them outside the cage. Some of the smaller ones that are just now escaping the cage, I'm just going to tie them back in. We love hearing from you. So don't forget to leave a comment. Look, Debbie, we finally have some green beans. Yellow and green ones. I love doing a bowl of green beans when you have different colors too, and I can't wait for the purple ones to start sprouting. And talking about how gardening is unpredictable, these pole beans, this is the first year that my pole beans have not climbed the trellis. Go I figure. <laughs> well, I guess don't order from that seed catalog again. I guess they were mismarked. But you just never know. I don't know if it's the conditions or if they were different beans, um, different seeds. But hopefully this will give us some green beans. So our other beans are growing too. We have edamame at the end, a little slower, but lots of cannellini beans coming in. Some of our kidney beans are starting and we have a lot of flambo beans. They, they are beautiful. They are. They're gorgeous. I love that marbling of the red and green. It just does something for me. Debbie, how was that yellow squash you brought home last week? You know what? I was so surprised when I sliced into it, when I started prepping it, the seeds are bright lime green. It was so beautiful, like yellow and green polka dots, and it doesn't look anything like grocery store produce. So it was really exciting for yeah. me. Yeah, that's why we go through all this effort, because it's just the, the produce is so special. Yeah, there's um, a thrill to it for sure. Well, we have some spaghetti squash and some zucchini that's also coming in fast and furious now, so we'll be eating those pretty soon. And I did want to mention how last week we talked about, again, picking off the damaged leaves of our plants. But with our squash, you can see some of these leaves. These are big leaves and they look like, they don't look too healthy in some of them. They've been, something's yeah. been nibbling at them. They're a little discolored. Or hail even. All the hail too. So I have picked some of the really damaged leaves, but I'm much less aggressively than on the other plants. That's because my assumption is that because these leaves are so big and so flat that they're here to protect the squash that's underneath. Really enjoy our time in the garden, but we know what we're sharing with you from a little bit of education and a lot of trial and error and a lot of Googling, a lot of suggestions from friends. So as we're sharing our information with you, please share what you know with us. We have a comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you like to do in the garden and what works for you and give us suggestions.